The Russian Ministry of Defense and Wagner Group leader Evgeny Prigozhin acknowledged each other's roles in the Bakhmut effort. The Russian Ministry of Defense and Prigozhin claim that Wagner fighters comprise the main effort to take territory and push Ukrainian forces in central Bakhmut, whereas unspecified Russian airborne elements comprise the supporting effort on Wagner's flanks north and south of the town. The Russian forces on the flanks likely aim only to hold the flanks rather than make any significant advances. Now, this array of forces suggests that the Russian Ministry of Defense intends to use the Wagner Group to capture Bakhmut while minimizing casualties among conventional Russian forces, supporting the Institute for the Study of War's prior assessments that the Ministry of Defense seeks to use Wagner forces to capture Bakhmut, then supplant them and take credit for the victory. Russian forces continued ground attacks in and around Bakhmut and did not make any confirmed gains in the city. The Ukrainian general staff reported that fierce fighting is ongoing within Bakhmut and that Russian troops conducted unsuccessful offensive actions near Khromova, three kilometers west of Bakhmut, and Bogdanivka, five kilometers northwest. The Institute for the Study of War says Russian forces are visually confirmed to control at least 76.5% of Bakhmut as of the 11th of April. The think tank says Wagner Group is likely involved in the removal of Ukrainian civilians, including children from Bakhmut, by moving them further into Russian-occupied territory or deporting to the Russian Federation.